Welcome to Procedure Flow's Art of the Flow series. In this short video, we'll explain how entry points work in Procedure Flow. For people who are new to Procedure Flow, their first question often is, what is an entry point? An entry point is a collection of small hyperlinked flowcharts where processes are organized. Think of it as a starting point for a department or a group of processes that have something in common. Many organizations establish entry points by department, such as customer service, HR, IT, finance, sales, etc. Why is this important? The first concept to understand is that users only see the entry points they have been granted access to. Each entry point has a unique set of members, reports, and change history that may only be of interest to the individuals in that particular group or department. Some of the reasons to consider multiple entry points when building your organization in procedure flow are that separate departments or groups may not share common processes, or they may not want to receive change notifications on processes that are not relevant to them. In procedure flow, org admins have the ability to create new entry points. Org admins and entry point admins have permission to modify entry points, including the ability to add and remove users. For more information on the different roles in Procedure Flow, check out the upcoming video on user roles and adding members in our administration series. As an org admin, there are two ways to create a new entry point. From the Entry Points page, simply click on Create a New Entry Point. Give your entry point a suitable name for your group or department and click Create Entry Point. You will then need to add members, which we will get to in just a moment. The second way to create an entry point is to click the Administration tab. Then, click on Entry Points. Next, click New Entry Point and enter a name for the new entry point. And finally, click Create Entry Point. Perfect! Our new entry point has been created. Before starting to map flows, we should add the members who will have access to our new entry point. Again, only administrators have access to perform this task. One thing to remember is each entry point has its own unique group of members with defined roles. From the Administration tab, click Entry Points. Click on the name of the entry point where you want to add members. Click Members from the left menu bar. Click Add Members to add new users to Procedure Flow or to add existing users to the entry point. You can also send bulk invites to an entry point. Simply click Send Bulk Invites. You can add up to 100 members at once by entering their email addresses and clicking Send Invites. Once the members have been added, they will appear in the list of members. If the user is not already in the role of org admin, it's here that we can assign the role they will have in the entry point. Simply click the drop-down menu and select the role each member will occupy for this entry point. You'll notice the change is saved automatically when changing the role. That's all there is to it. Now you can create and manage all the entry points you need for your organization. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out the other videos in the Art of the Flow series.